I think of the cold as a noble force. Brayden, what can you tell us about the science of cryotherapy? Yeah. Gives you dopamine. It's bringing me back to the inner nature. I don't want to. Ah! It burns! The way it was meant to be. Do I even have a penis or is it just a hole in my body now? Today, Joel and I take my family on a van life adventure in the wilderness. What do you want to do today? I don't want to do anything. Nothing <sighs> at all. Just drink wine, relax, lay down. We got friends, we got friends. I'm a go She said that she wasn't going to come, but they are here. We've got a fun challenge up our sleeves to up the ante. We got play those spots. You guys blocked off the best view. I wasn't sure if you were going to make it down. I'll just park it right over here. Her boyfriend. Look at all these camper tents. Who's rivaling our wonderful setup? Be bad if the car wasn't in park. In an overlanding convoy. Time for the polar plunge, my friends. Brayden, what can you tell us about the science of cryotherapy? Cold exposure may influence aspects of physiology relevant for fighting metabolic-related diseases. Gives yeah. you dopamine. Yeah. Why did you give the one addicted to the phone internet access, Rebecca? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. <laughs> if a heroin addict asks for heroin, you give it to him. We're taking on nature's very own ice bath, the cold mountain river. Not bad. I reckon the temperature at this point is a solid 10 degrees Celsius. Pour that rock to share. And breathe. Emma, your hair is so pretty with the little braids. Emma, you ready? Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. For my American friends, that's a fair 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Shoulders down. Shoulders down. You can do it. You can do it. Joel looks like ice and coffin. Oh, that feels so good. Yeah. How's that? You know what? The last like three minutes, I actually started to warm up and I was moving around. It wasn't so bad. Initially, for the first five minutes, it was awful. Guys, guys, this towel is a very expensive towel. The most expensive. Yeah. It has active copper ingredients threaded through it so that it's antibacterial. I'm not even joking. A person could just sell you anything, eh? <laughs> well, if it's okay. online and on a Facebook ad. <laughs> Despite the initial wave of cold, I found that I soon became acclimatized and with a warm fire, some numbing wine and hot food, I felt emboldened to suggest we take on the river oh. again first thing in the morning. This is my prize pepper. I was perhaps too cocky for my own good. Because by the next morning, temperatures had dropped a solid 10 degrees. I told everybody that we should go in the river in the morning. After it warmed up at least two or three degrees, oh my gosh. You're the only one who should go in the water. Yeah. <laughs> That's rude. It'll be good for you. Not me, but for you. Brayden's all ready. Like, Brayden's like, I want to go now. Are you actually going to go do it? Yeah, of course I'm going to do it. It's only a second of the real walk. Oh, now you're all like, oh, no, yeah, it's going to. I was planning on doing it. Even the whole just time. like five seconds you ago, you were like, oh, off. no. What do you think was going to happen? <laughs> I was going to act all wimpy on the camera. Uh, I have to actually go. <laughs> Uh. Don't look at my nipples. <laughs> They're already too hard. <laughs> We're just waiting for Emma. Oh, Emma's coming? Yes. We're gonna start with our breeding. Okay. Relaxed. 
Is this actually ice? Huh? While being aware of the drop in the temperature air, I had not clued into the fact that the cold night air would have affected the temperature in the river as drastically as it did. The river at this point was a solid five degrees Celsius. Emma, how are you feeling about going into the cold river again? It's gonna make me less smelly. Okay, well, that's more positive than what I would have said. I would have said, no, what in the world am I doing? I'm stupid. Which is what I'm saying, actually. That is actually what I'm saying. Let's just say I should have taken Wim Hof's breathing exercises. You no, know, as I get closer, this is a really bad idea. A lot more seriously than I did. I don't want to. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't want to either. Yeah, but we all know men are weaker than women. Oh, Emma, if you say something like that. <laughs> We just know it. We don't have to prove it. Well, then we don't have to do this. What are we thinking? <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Don't, don't go so slow. Oh, no. Don't go this so slow. Is way worse. It's such a bad idea to go so slow. Oh. You don't have to stay in here for three minutes. No, 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 no. Just chill this down. Hold as long as you can and get out. Okay. Ice. All I could think was ice. How was that, Becca? The getting out feels so good. It's awful. I would never do that. Do not recommend. <laughs> to think Brayden does this every morning. It's like this cold. <laughs> like winter is this cold because I literally break ice to get in the winter. And you still do it in the winter? Well, I started in January. Damn, dude. <laughs> it burns. Not pain, it's just a numb. Oh, we're gonna feel great. <laughs> Brayden, stop flexing. <laughs> Get out. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. But a nice man, hi. Woo! We got a nice man, hi. This is what healthy people do when they don't do drugs. Don't do drugs, do water. Easier. It increases testosterone. <laughs> I'm like, do I even have a penis or is it just a hole in my body now? See you guys!